For BASF, climate protection is a key task and an essential part of our strategy. Greenhouse gas emissions are also an important issue for many of our customers. We want to improve CO2 transparency in our value chains, from the raw materials we buy to our factory gates. That's why we calculate the carbon footprints for our sales products worldwide, the product carbon footprints. The calculation follows general standards of life cycle analysis. It is based on the greenhouse gas emissions of the company's own production facilities and those of purchased raw materials and energy, from the cradle to the factory gate. Up to now, the purchased raw materials have been taken into account using generic or industry average data. We want to change this with our supplier CO2 management program, in which we ask our suppliers to calculate the actual product carbon footprints of the raw materials and pass them on to us. Our suppliers' cradle-to-gate PCFs improve the quality of our data and enable us to identify emissions hotspots and ways to reduce product-related greenhouse gas emissions. The calculation of the cradle-to-gate product carbon footprint should follow the relevant PCF standard ISO 14067, 2018 and be performed by a trained LCA analyst. Only if the PCFs are calculated according to the same rules the PCF values are comparable and suitable as a basis for making the right decisions. BASF has compiled a corresponding set of rules and published them on their website. In principle, the PCF calculation should take into account the following points. Cover all product-related GHG emissions and removals from cradle to gate. For raw materials and utilities, scope 3, Consider supplier-specific PCF data wherever possible, or PCF data from LCA databases. Consider primary data for all processes under your ownership, scope 1, and preferably market or location-based emission factors for purchased energy, scope 2. Include all six Kyoto greenhouse gases and nitrogen trifluoride. Use GWP100 factors from the 2013 IPCC 5th Assessment Report. Consider biogenic CO2 assimilation, CO2 removal, and biogenic emissions separately from non-biogenic emissions and removals. Use up-to-date, high-quality, and representative data that reflects the specific geography and technology of the product in question. Refer to one kilogram of the product Exclude packaging or transport emissions to the BASF site, and also CO2 offsets. If needed, the LCA calculation can be supported by external consultants. Our suppliers are important partners for our climate goals. In our supplier CO2 management program, we work with them to make greenhouse gas emissions in the supply chain more transparent and to develop innovative solutions with which we reduce the carbon footprint of raw materials and along the value chain. BASF. We create chemistry.